Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and this is my video review of Transformers Fall of Cybertron Generations Shockwave. And this guy is amazing. Short, small, but amazing. Easily my favorite out of the Fall of Cybertron toys. The, of the three that are out so far. That could be replaced by the Bruticus set. Well, anyway. He is just simply awesome. How many times do I have to say that to just before I get into the review? His vehicle mode, eh, okay. Not a giant laser gun, but v per fairly accurate to the video game download from War for Cybertron. And this guy will be more involved in Fall of Cybertron as an actual character other than just a downloadable chassis or whatever. Um... So he's got these ginormous like jet engines here. They're actually really well disguised arms, to be honest. Um, it's nifty. Um, you know, he's got his like window cockpit thingy here. Turns into his chest. Um, this whole piece literally flips around. This guy's transformation is so simple. I will actually do it for you on screen. Jazz, there's a little bit of a small issue I have with um, pe a piece that I'd rather not do on video just in case they broke it um, but anyway nothing you have to worry about it's just a minor issue with mine but uh, he's got a nice Decepticon logo here and it's the only one on him which is not terrible at least he has one um, it's a little off-centered but uh, at least he has it unlike some of the Transformers Prime stuff. Um, you know, he's got his nice cannon here. Sorry. Very entertaining. He legit looks like the uh, ship. And as a nice example of that, he's got his uh, in-game picture there. Not quite exact, but pretty close. You know, the front end would be a little bit bigger. And the wings would be a little bit f flatter. But uh, it's pretty nice the way it is. So um, I'll just go over the box here. You know, in-game vehicle mode, full Cybertron. The whole picture of him. His legs actually go into the background. Generations up there. Flip this around. Picture of him on the back. Text backs which is pretty old school. Uh, anyway, it's nice. So, basically, get back to this. Uh, transformation is pretty simple, and uh, like I promised, I will do it on screen. Um, so, just take these, fold them back, you know, just to get them out of the way. Then, fold these panels down, and you just gotta pull it just ever so slightly to plug the tab into this hole. It can be a challenge, just because you tend to go over it. And then, um, without unplugging everything, you just split these, and uh, these panels will end up forming legs. Come back here, and well, you can kind of just fold these down. Fold this up just a little bit, take this down. Then, you pretty much have his legs done by just flipping these panels up. And, or those spikes up, I guess. And then, split the arms, rotate them, bring them down. Then, this is the cool part. This is his uh, cockpit area, you know, just flip this up and over and down and when you click down similar to the revealers his head pops up and it's nice because it's like on a spring load it's not a ball and socket joint it's a hinge but uh, you know it's okay then you just bring these up plug them in place and lock the whole assembly then you just straighten out the arms then according to the instructions you pull out the hands 
which he conveniently has a full set of. Not very shockwave-ish without his cannon. Um, so, it's got a handle in here, plugs into here. As like, you know, just like a gun. Yeah, still not very shockwave-ish without really plugging into his hand. And that's the biggest complaint I have found yet. And this is not in the instructions, but... If you fold the hand in, see this hole here? This works on both sides, by the way, if you don't like it on this side. I don't know why you wouldn't. See this little tab inside here? Snap it in there. And this gun becomes part of his arm. The reason the handle's in there is so you can give it to another transformer. Now, this is very specific for Shockwave uh, to have this cannon. Uh, which is in interesting, but, um, you know, all the other guys seem to come with weapons that you can get in the game. Well, this does too. You just gotta remove the end of the gun, and you have the Gatlin gun that you can get in the game. Apparently. Or, so they say. And then this just goes back on. And you have his cannon. It's not quite G1-ish, but it, it's nice. It's giant, and it's great. Decepticon symbol. The, on, the other minor complaint I've heard from this about this guy are the screws on the front. But they sit enough shadow here that you I, I really don't notice them. Um, yeah, minor detail. Also, if you don't feel like having his gun on at all you can store on his back. Don't really know why you would want to, but you can. Makes him a little back heavy. Well, now that he's in this state, um, I'll just show off the uh, articulation. You know, got a little bit of feet movement. Not much, and somebody is firing fireworks nearby. If you hear the popping noises in the back ground, that's fireworks. Can't see him, but we're there. Lovely, huh? Shock it's one of Shockwave's experiments. We'll go with that. Well, um, he's got a joint here in the knee with a swivel just above it. He's got a ball and socket joint, hip, no swivel, no waist swivel. It does have a kind of like a swivel here, here, and a ball and socket joint here, as well as a kind of weird joint due to transformation here, but I guess you could use it if you really want to do. His hand has some movement, but uh, that's just due to transformation and how to clip the weapon in place. Um, that's nice. Uh, if you don't like these wings, you can kind of fold them back a little bit so you, they're not as visible, but they stick further out. Personally, I don't mind the wings. Not very shock G1 Shockwave-ish, but, you know, it's not bad. It's the closest thing we've gotten yet. The next closest thing would be the Dark the Moon guy. Love this guy's light piping. The light I have above him really shows it off. Destroy. Or whatever. Can't really do a good shockwave impression. But, um, yeah. There you have it. Transformers Fall of Cybertron Shockwave. And just for fun, let's put the cannon cannon back on, you know, because that's the coolest part of Shockwave, it's just cannon. This guy actually has it on the correct arm, or either arm, like, uh, with the Fall of Cybertron stuff, he, or not Fall of Cybertron, wow, this is Fall of Cybertron, with the Dark of the Moon one, you know, it would only fit on this side, which is unfortunate. Well, uh, that concludes my video review, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.